All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cold Cast. I'm your casting host, Beef, bringing you coverage of the Runic Shift Invitational on Eight Man Tournament, focusing on the new patch 3.1 that was just released in Heroes of New Earth. Complexity Gaming taken on Q Squad 357 in this best of three series. And for this very special match, the very special tournament, I have a very special co caster, Super KGE, captain of the Lions Esports Club. KGE, how's it going, man? It's going pretty good. Even though we lost our recent matches, it's all good. It's a new tournament, new things happening, so pretty exciting for this matchup. Pretty exciting indeed. Definitely looking forward to seeing this one as uh, we do have a little bit of a change up here. I mean, we do have B-Kid drafting once more. So yesterday, Peter Pan Dam was drafting as B-Kid was absent for scrims. But Tralfamador in right now, ringing for the Complexity Gaming Squad. So a bit of a shift up in that roster. Whereas Q-Squad, sticking with their normal five, they've been kind of silent over the past maybe month or so since the Haunter playoffs. Yeah, I guess like Trasmander is a pretty good player, so I think he's going to fit in the team. And he's been playing with, I think, everyone of their team before. And QSQ is still on the same team, so I think they're doing good. Yeah, should be a pretty good matchup for sure. And definitely a relatively even matchup right now, ranked number three and number five, respectively. Complexity Gaming definitely might be looking for some of those new strategies, though. QSQ, always a team that could be bringing some new heroes in, as we already see some like the Devourer making his way into the lock pool right here. In addition to that, I mean, with this new patch, what other heroes might you expect to see out of Q Squad 357? Um, right now, as they changed, like, Pearl is really, really good hero, and there's Solstice open, there's Oogie, there's, um, Lodestone, so I, I think we're going to see a few new heroes, maybe not exactly this first matchup, um, but I think in these three games we're going to see at least two new heroes coming up, for sure. Could Master definitely see that right there, though. We do have Master of Arms going to be the first pick. A pretty standard, versatile hero to really lock it in. But speaking of that lock, the lock pool consists of Tempest, Andromeda, Magmus, Ophelia, Devour, and Rally. Three of those initiators, a couple of the strong junglers, even ones that got nerfed there, like the Ophelia. And then a support by way of the Andromeda, who's been very, very popular since this patch came out. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that of Andromeda that much yet, uh, but the other block picks is pretty standard. Nothing out of, the, out of the ordinary, so let's see what's happening. Getting the Devo in there, of course. Uh, I've seen B-Kid and Peter Pan Dam both playing Devourer recently, something that your team actually started back in the Sound Blaster Heroes League against Stay Green. I believe that was your first pick of the Devourer, but Glacius Torture coming out for a couple ints on the Q-Squad side, Demented Shaman, and then the War Beast coming out now for Complexity. How do you expect that War Beast to be used in this matchup? Um, I think they're probably going to suicide him. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, possibly suicide, and they will have a jungling uh, Tempest, because he's going to jungle so fast. But as they change that, you can buy Rev Wards. You can block so many camps early on. So I don't know if I like it too much, but let's see. We will see indeed, as there is a big hero pickup. Pandemonium, going to be coming out for Q Squad 357. Had Insania on earlier, and his team was running this one with Noob G playing the Panda yesterday in some scrims. Of course, uh, the only major change to Panda, I believe, is that his target can no longer be tableted while getting that face smash ult off. But, I mean, Panda, always been a strong hero. Could be seeing the resurgence of this very strong ganker carry. Yeah, Panamonium as the change, it's really nice. It's same with, like, Devourer, because now you can't push, push the kingdom all the way. It's, I like the change very much, so I think Devourer and Panamonium will be av available again. Could be very fun indeed. Now, Complexity's last pickup right here. They already have their Suicide and their Jungler, meaning that it's just going to be the Rally or the Devour. And speaking of the Rally, um, that's another big change with the Immobilize on the Face Smash. You can no longer uh, use the Compel out of the Face Smash. So Rally no longer as much of a counter to heroes like that Panda, Succubus, and Devour. Do you think that we're going to see the Devo or the Rally as the last pick? I... 
think they're going for rally. It's oh wait, there's devour. Interesting. Um, I I would see. I would prefer picking rally there because they're going more offensive push lineup, and he's a lot better in that case. Devour is like more defensive, I think. He works both offensive and defensive, of course, but I'd see him as more defensive hero. Well, interesting, interesting. They get some swaps going right there. Peter Pan Dam takes the Master of Arms, that versatility coming in so that he can play support. B-Kid going to be bringing home the Devourer middle lane, most likely. Going to have a solo short lane, Demented Shaman, bling, being played by uh, Tralfmador. And then we, of course, will have the War Beast being played by Moonmander in that suicide position. Riser going to hold it down in the jungle. Those uh, lanes sound about right to you? Yeah, everything is all good. Sounds good indeed. As uh, unfortunately, it looks like my OBS is not picking up the game right now. Uh, let me switch okay. scenes again real quick. Yep. Uh, that's very odd. I don't know what is going on with that right now. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to close this stream real quick, like and restart it, guys. As I don't exactly know what's going on, but I don't think it's transmitting video. So, gonna close the stream real quick and 